look like a pharmacy. What do you want? Do you guys know where we can get some coke? Yeah, I mean, like, just like that. You got it on you right now? Come on, man, I ain't looking for a citizen. I don't carry no drugs on me. It's right around the corner, man. Two minutes or less. Give me the money and I'll go. Rule number one. Never let the money leave your hands before you got the goods. I'm gonna stay here. No. Well, you don't trust me? You guys both come with us. How far is it from here? It's right around the corner, man. All right, hurry up. All right, all right. Okay, come on in. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, baby. It's right here. Give me the money. Well, fuck that, man. I hang on to the money. I hang on to the money, man. But I got the money. I'll go with you. I got it. Come on. Come on. This is a parade or something. We need no, money. man. It's just uh, where, I, where my money goes, I It ain't worth shit. All you're you, you 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 trying to get is 50. Shit. No. No, 15. 15. 15. 15. Stay here, I said 15, man. I, I thought you said 50, man. Fuck no. Man, what's up? Dude, but I'll keep you down a little bit, man. Rule number two, never wear a dress while scoring. You can't trust me, yeah, man. I trust you. I got Jesus on my chest, man. man. You can't trust me. You can't trust me. Hey, man. It's me, Roxanne. Roxanne? Mine's Casey. So if you guys, do you guys know, have you guys been here before? You know these yes, people? Yes, we come here all the time. They got good stuff? Yes. I'm just, I don't know. I just, you know, we get nervous about giving our money to people when we don't, when we don't know them. Oh, don't worry. Buddy don't burn nobody. It's true. Butter didn't burn nobody. He was an honest man, a playwright out of Detroit. And one day he came home to his apartment building and there was these two rockheads that were trying to fuck this little 12-year-old girl. Her mother had traded her for some rock and he tried to put a stop to it. So they threw him out of a six-story building. And he wakes up in a hospital with a steel skull, steel jaw, and steel pins in all his so, joints. you think that I look like a police? You look like the police. I know you what it is, though. You, you looking at me like I'm black. Like some <laughs> bad black dude. Black, some man. bad black dude's gonna rip but you off. But do I look like the police? Are you the police? Do I look like the police? I mean, fuck, fuck How you look? Does Bozo look like the damn weather man? Huh? We all know, will it? <laughs> Are you the police? Yes or no? Talk to me. Bro. First you killing me $50, and then you talking about 15. I don't think. You're holding my woman I don't in your think. Car. There's any chance in hell any fucking cop could think of this. Señores y señoras, nosotros tenemos más influencia con sus hijos que tú tienes. Pero los queremos. Creado y regado de Los Ángeles. Juana's Adicción.
We played L.A. for years. Our first show, we didn't play very well, so I dropped my pants. Soon enough, we weren't just making flyers, we were taking in lunch. So to protect us and our reputation, we found ourselves a manager. Hello there, Marty. You ready for your walk? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, what? Yes, Mistress Kiki. It's better. Bark. <laughs> bark like the dog you are. <laughs> get down. Did I tell you to get up? Bark. <laughs> get up. Bang. I want to see your tongue. Bag. 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 And have you been a good boy this week? Well, yeah. What makes you think so? Oh, I just got back from the Bahamas. I made lots of money and I had a big fat lobster. I dipped it in hot butter. Really? Yeah. Where did you get the money for your little excursion? <laughs> from my rock and roll band. You mean to tell me that you took money from those poor, starving, creative, young, trusting, beautiful, talented, sexy, practically immortal, creative, charismatic individuals that have more talent in their little finger than you would ever dream of having in your entire body? Yeah, they're replaceable! They're replaceable? On, on your hands and knees, mister. What are you doing, Mistress Kiki? You don't need to know what I'm doing here. They don't need to know what you're doing with their money. You don't need to know what I'm doing to you. Got that? Yeah. Ass in the air, please. What do you think about everything that you've done to these people? Hello, is Kiki there? Uh, Mistress Kiki is in a session at the moment. Uh, we're not supposed to interrupt them, but uh, maybe I can uh, pull her out. Okay. Oh, ow! Ooh! Oh! Oh! Who is it? Mistress Terry! Oh, come in, Mistress Terry! Hey, can I have one of those? No. You got phone calls, Casey. Oh, really? Great. Would you take over for me? Sure. What part are you up to? Um, well, he's at the part where he just ate a big, fat lobster with a lot of hot butter on it and stuff, and I really don't think he was that deserving. Ow! I'll be right back. Marty, you put a poor, defenseless lobster in hot butter? Oh, well, yeah! Hello? Hi, Kiki. Hi, Casey. What's up? Hi. What's going on? What's that? It's our, it's our new pet. It's our new hen, Graciela. Oh. Um, well, what's going on? Um, just calling to see when you're getting off of work and see what you uh, have planned. Actually, I'm not going to be getting off for a while. You're not going to believe who's here. Who? Uh, Marty. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Kiki? Hi. Who's here? <laughs> As in Jane's addiction, Marty? Mm -hmm. He's there again? Yep. Oh, God. Are you doing him now? You would not believe what I'm doing to him. He's tied down. I've got his hairy butt up in the air. I'm kicking the shit out of him. What do you mean you're kicking the shit out of him? Well, you know how he has that totally stupid attitude where he gets all snide with me? Well, God, I, got, I tied him down, right? I am dripping hot candle wax all down the whole crack of his ass. And she's oh, squirming around. But I gotta get back. What'd you need? Well, I called to find out if you uh, were into going downtown or not. Fuck yeah, I'm into going downtown, but I don't know what my financial situation's gonna be. <laughs> Does he tip? 
<laughs> You're supposed to tip, but you know how he is. Can't you just tell him how much money you want? Well, maybe if I string him up on the St. Anne's cross. Okay, I'll pick you up. There's fucking nobody out. It's really late, though. I know, but still, I mean, there's like nobody. Have you seen one person? I don't know, but the first person we see, if you see anyone you know, let me know, because I don't know who's there. And there's some people. Look, hey, there's some people waiting with me right there. I know this lady right here, the woman with the pink, the pink, the butt, the pink, the big butt, pink, the butt, 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 the what you want? What you want? What you want? Huh? Show me the money. It's cool. Show me the money. Show me the money. Let's go. 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 think it is, is it? What do you think it is? The album cover? Are you Jane's Addiction? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not Jane's Addiction. But... Oh, wow, I was just listening to you guys. This is too much. When are you guys going to play again? Um, I don't know, in a couple Ooh. months. Ooh, I got some I of this. What Here. is this, grease? Oh, I'm sorry. Here you go. I'm used to getting grease on my hands, you know, working with pizza and all. Yeah. Hey, uh, could you sign my autograph? I don't think you want me to sign it, dude. I'm not in the band or anything, okay? Oh, when are you guys going to play next, man? In a couple months, they're playing. I don't what, know. What is I that? Mean, it's, a, it's a new album cover. Oh, this is great. This is great. Yeah, I you know, I saw you guys the first time you played at Scream. It was great. I saw you John Anson, man. It was, oh, oh man. That's 1337. That's close enough. Here you go. You know what these are? These are breath mints, man. I love you guys. Here, let me give you some more. Sure, thanks. All right. Okay, I gotta go, but... All right, man. Thank you, bye. It's nice meeting you, all right? Ow! <laughs> bye. Jane's addiction, man. Yeah, 
Podcast Studio. Hello, is Perry there? That was fucking great, that was man. Time. That was nice. fucking great. Perry? Yes. Hello. Hi. What's going on? Um, just recording. Yeah? Yes. Um, how's it going? Unbelievable. We just recorded three days. All the way through the very first take. So it's turning out great? Yeah, man, I couldn't believe it. It's so, so good, fighter. I'm just so excited, man. Oh, I can't wait to hear it. Yeah. When are you coming home? Um, probably in like an hour or so. I don't know. I have a surprise for you. Really? What's that? It's a surprise. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Where is it? Where is it from? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, really? close. Anyway, um, uh, um, hold on a second. Somebody's calling. Okay. Hold on. Hello. Is Casey there? This is Casey. Casey, hi. You probably don't remember me. I'm Nadine, your mother's friend. I work with her at the high school. Do you remember me? Uh, I think I remember you. Yeah, hi. How are you? Um, I'm fine. I haven't spoken to you in so long. Yeah. Listen, I'm down here to see Phantom, and I have a present from your mother. Excuse me, can you hold on? Can you hold on just one second? Sure. Hold on.
case. 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 Oh my God. Casey. Casey. First time I ever laid eyes on Casey. I was totally in love with her. I loved her so much that she scared me. I ached at the thought of her. The fact that I never allowed her to know how much I did love her literally makes me ashamed of myself. I feel like I treated her like my father treated my mother. Ow! And I couldn't even see it. Get out of here! And now I'll tell you of my attraction to heroin. In the beginning, I was so inspired by her. Sometimes I could write an entire album in one evening. I felt the same attraction to her that gay men and women feel. The secret between them excites them. Get out of here, man. I'm not fucking kidding with you. There was a doctor whose name was going around the streets. He was treating junkies with take-home medication. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, we're here to see Dr. Booper next. Do you have an appointment? Yeah, uh, oh, we yeah. called before we came down. Okay. Your names? Um, Perry and Casey. Pelly and Casey. Okay. Have a seat. Doctor will be right with you. Okay, thank okay, you. Thank you. Dr. Bupernex was a nice okay. guy. He was an entrepreneur. Now, your knees. Insert these two fingers. That's fine. Okay. Now, the speculum. Now, this will be a little cold. 
relax. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry. Yes. Gynecology work, solar paneling, and drug withdrawal. Darling, don't be a baby. No tears. Oh, it's fine. Be a big girl. It's okay. Hey, how's the band? All right, man. I'm doing great. Well, I, uh, I ran into your old manager last week at a party. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He was, uh, tell me he dumped you guys because you wanted a limousine for a photo shoot or something. Fucking lie, that fucking asshole. Total bullshit, man. Yes. He's a fucking fat drunk. I can't believe he's saying that it's shit. It's just I'm what so he sick told of me. I'm fucking hearing this. Yeah. It's just what he said. It's totally not true. It's just, it's just what he said. He's just jealous because the band fucking left him. So, um, when's the new record coming out? Excuse me, Patty and Casey are here. Oh, very good. Tell them I'll be right there. Darling, I'll be right back. You just stay relaxed. <laughs> oh, Casey! Perry! Hey, Dr. B. Nice to see you. How are you? What's going on? I'm good, and uh, yeah. you're looking, um, you're, you're looking... Well, tell me, what can I do for you? Well, to start off with, you know, we've done, we've really been doing really good, mostly, uh -huh. for the most part, but... Good, good. You know, trying to do good anyway, but... Almost there. Kind of slipped a little bit, and before we slipped, we thought we would come and speak with you before things got really bad. Oh, very good. I'm very glad about that. Yeah. That was smart. Very good. So, anyway... Um, so, I can get for you, make you feel better? <laughs> well, um... We need something to help us sleep. Oh, we some sleep pills? Enough. Yeah. Say um, 40 or 60 of 1,000 milligram each? Um, that, yeah, could, maybe some chlorohydrates. Okay, let me have... get this down here. At Six. least 60, because okay, there's 60 two, yeah, of us. two of us. I don't know, though. Maybe, I don't And maybe 100 on the chlorohydrates. That'd be cool. Okay. Okay, okay very good. Here's a prescription. Well, I'll put okay. it right here. Okay. All right. And um, what else? Is anything else been bothering you? Perry, you want to tell me about your back? Okay. Your back. My back, yeah, my back's been really bugging me. It's been, um... He needs something for pain. Yeah, kind of really is bugging me bad. So, like, okay. some kind of painkiller. Some Percodan, Valium? That'd be great. Maybe yeah. both, just in case. He, he, he needs some Darvon. Some Darvon? Say yeah. about uh, 80 Darvon? Yeah. That'd be enough? That'd be That's great. Sure. Fun. Okay, and, and how and many uh, Percodan? Um, Percodan's, uh, I don't know, 60? 60, fine. What else? And do you have enough Valium left from before or have you used those? Mm, no, you know what we really like is that liquid Valium. The liquid Valium? Yeah, can we yeah. get the liquid Valium? Fine. Two I'll get vials? You, I'll get you uh, a But you know what? Maybe? Can we each have one? But um, we ran out, we're, we're pretty much out of syringes for the liquid Valium. Okay, just a moment then. We'll get that. So, we'll get the two vials. The box we'll of 100. The box of 100 syringes. Yeah. With the refill. Can we have refills on these? Dr. Guprinex was a nice guy. He gave drug addicts lots of opportunities to withdraw themselves. He gave out pharmaceuticals to help you get off his own pharmaceuticals. I really do believe he cared. He was the only doctor who bought my record. Maybe I should make it 60, just to be safe. Just a refill. change the 60 Okay. I guess Just can we get them all generic? There was always one catch. You could kind of order what you wanted, but he always tagged on what he thought you needed at the end of every visit. I mean, even this FDA stuff is so silly. Just, we have a good drug, let's, let's, let's prescribe it. Yeah. Well, there's one thing I'm concerned about, and that's some stomach uh, reaction to all these drugs. Yeah. Have you had some yeah. stomach reaction yeah. in the past? Yeah. I had a feeling, look, there's a new thing. It's in this national magazine. This is so fantastic. There's a whole story here. This lady in Arizona, she had similar problems as you. Sure. She took these, these new stomach pills, uh -huh. no stomach reaction whatsoever, and it even helped the rest of her problems. Now, the, the only thing is, it's not been approved by the FDA.
What would you do if you came home and found your wife was dead? Do you call the cops? Have them come and trample your home and take her away forever. And the cops or her parents, that was the true nightmare. Her flesh was still warm. I wanted to make love to her. I know it sounds sick. Dress. Are you sure they live here? No, no, I'm kind of worried about her. She sounded awful over the phone. Oh. Nadine, look at this. Jesus Christ. Nadine, look at this. Weird. Hi. Hi, Liz. You must be Perry. I'm Nadine. 
Hi, Nadine. Yes, I'm Casey's mother's friend from Bakersfield. She sent these Hi. down for Casey. Oh, that's... Oh, where that's where is nice. Casey? When I talked to her on the phone, and she sounded kind of funny. Is she all right? Is she here? Um, she's not here. I don't even know where she went. She left a note for me. But, um, she should be home. I don't, I don't know. What time, what time is it? It's around 10 o'clock. Oh. <laughs> Well, she'll be, she should be home pretty soon. I could tell you you called or came by. Okay. Yeah, her mother sent this down for her. These are oh. nice. Thank you. Yeah. What are these? What are they? I think they're dishes or something. Yeah. Oh. So. All right. I'll tell her that you called. I mean, or came by. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, could I come in and use your bathroom? My bath. It's, you know what? It's actually, to tell you the truth, it's really dirty. If you want to hang on for a second, uh, I'll just right, I'll mind. clear it out for you. Come on, can't you wait till we get home to Bakersfield? <laughs> well, you're welcome to use it. I mean, it just it's, it is kind of dirty. Let's well, go. Well, yeah, well, that's okay. That's okay. okay. Thank you. And All right. Casey, that we were by. All right. What was your name? Nadine. Nadine. Okay. All right. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Very bye -bye. nice to meet you. It was Christmas time. Everybody started leaving for the holidays. The record was just about to be wrapped up, but we were out of money. Marty was leaving for the Bahamas for three weeks, but before he left, we made one last desperate call. in the car he can't f you know he's fucking really really sick and he needs to go into a fucking hospital no i don't want to go to a fucking hospital <sighs> tell him about the fucking hospital i want to go away okay okay marty we were in front of a quick mart and a car pulled up and we asked him for some change and it happened to be a friend of ours he said he didn't have any money but he would give us a ride to a hospital So what kind of drugs do you use? Heroin. You ready to stop? Nope. How come? Because I like it too much. You like it too? Have you tried That's, stopping? No, I don't want to. I've tried a few times, but I don't want to. I enjoy it. Uh -huh. I like what I do. Right. You know, know what I mean? <laughs> all kinds of, yeah, a lot of it. Is that what your life is all about? Yeah, time? sure is. Well, what's, yeah, part of the program, I guess, goes along with it. And you're okay with that? Yeah, I made, the, I made that choice. I'll live with it. And you're, I don't. And you're okay with that? Yeah, I certainly am. <laughs> sure am. You have, you have no intent to change your life? No, not, not one bit. Not in the near future. You know what I mean? What That's, would happen if I was to tell you it'd be better? I, I don't care. You know, really, you know, I, you know, you might as well not because I'm not going to listen. You know what I mean? Yeah. This, I, I enjoy what I do. I like to get loaded. I really do. I enjoy, to get, I enjoy getting loaded. I love to fix. That's what I do. That's my whole life. That's my social life. I have no other social life but that. Yep. You know, I've been doing that for so many years, and that's all I have. It's fun, you know. Huh? Me too. You too. Yeah. And you know what I'm talking yeah, about, homeboy. You know what I mean? And I, and I do know what you're talking about. Okay, then that's just me. But that, I gotta you know. tell you something. I like my life better now. Gee, well, good for you. <laughs> good for you, man. Right. I'm, you know, it hey, is, I, you know what? I respect you, and all that. That's fine. What works for you might not work for me. <laughs> and you know what I mean? I'm telling you that. What works for me? Well, gee, I'm sorry, brother. I don't, I don't, I really don't have, okay. What works for me? I'm not going to, I'll listen, but not, go ahead. Waste your time. <laughs> <laughs> you sound good right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what he means when he says stuff like that, because I choose, this is my escape. This is what I do. 
to get to where reality doesn't mess with me and there's too much hard ass reality every day. So I just go off with some people get in a bottle, some people get in a joint, some people, you know, fix. I just happen to go for the narcotic because it takes my mind off of what the problems seem to be for me. You know, and there's no other escape at this point, so I take the one that's available. What happens when you come to? Uh, I look for more. Straight up, Doc, I was in front of the A&A liquor store and I slammed about a quart of whiskey. Slammed? <laughs> Big outfit, huh? Wow. Turkey bacon for a And I had a joint in my pocket and some guy came up to me and he says, Hey, man, I'll give you two clompers if you give me a swig <laughs> off that boo. You wear them in the rain. I guess they're... Uh, they're some kind of tranquilizer. <laughs> My kid brother was like 12 years old, and we lived on a farm. And, and like, there was this graveyard next to our farm. And <clears throat> they were having an interstate come through, you know? So, like, they were, like, digging at night with shovels and moving the graves so the interstate could come through. Yeah. So, like, it was a full moon, foggy, just the right scene for a Dracula movie, you know? So, like, uh -huh. I gave him his first hit of acid at the age of 12. <laughs> Gosh. So, like, <clears throat> we said, let's go over and check out these people. So we go over in this abandoned graveyard. Uh-oh. And all of a sudden, I heard a dog go, oh! Um, I, I, I came home and like, you know, I was really fucked up and everything. And so I, wo I well, I came too. I didn't wake up. And I hear like these pots and pans clanging in my kitchen. I said, what the fuck is that? So I like go to my kitchen and there's this naked midget. Right? Yeah. right? You know, all bow-legged and shit. No standing in my kitchen and I'm like standing in there going, who are you? And he goes, you know, how, you know how midgets have weird voices? He goes, he goes, I'm Damien. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Rockstar. Dr. Rockstar. He hated that name. He insisted that he wasn't a rock star, but I said, hey man, I know rock stars and you're a rock star. He OD'd himself on Demerol. So you know the way I got him off my back? I told him that I was starting to have dreams about his penis. And I thought I was falling in love with him. He visited us about once a week, playing some little game of squeeze my finger. Ooh, look, your veins are coming back. I always remembered when he left the room, he'd say the same stupid thing. I've got good news. Yes, what? You've all been off of drugs for one day. Oh, come on. How long is that in oh, life? I stopped taking his medication, and I waited until I came down enough to walk, and then I bailed out of that place with Casey. And just to show Dr. Rockstar how little he really cared about his patients, I stole that motherfucker's stethoscope. gotten old and miserable. We were happy in Mexico. Should have stayed there. Some places have magic. We got clean down there. 
I promised Casey I'd marry her if we'd quit. That's what she told me she wanted more than anything. In the town of Catamaco, Isabella, the woman who married us, knew something was wrong the moment she'd met us. She agreed to perform the Santorian wedding, but first told us that we had to be purified. We were told to go to Nansiaga, otherwise known as Monkey Island, and spend the night. Next time we met Isabella, she looked in our eyes and knew it was time.
son was a physician. He took out an egg and rolled it over our bodies. And when he broke it, there was almost no evil left inside us. I live in Venice. I get up very early in the morning and I take a walk down to the beach. Sometimes if it's too late at night, I won't even go to sleep. I'll just watch the sun come up and then I'll start my walk. surfer <laughs> paddle out no matter how big it was 
I could paddle out through anything. Casey and I had a death pact. We had this conclusion that we were both very young souls and we'd never been old. And the thought of becoming an adult was just depressing. like I should have died five years ago, but I was too prideful to kill myself and go unnoticed in this world. Casey just beat me to it. Hey, Ferry, man. I think the, the cops are here, man. Huh? I think the cops are here, man. Excuse me, can I have your attention, please? Can you turn that music down a little bit? Yeah, we've got a problem here. We've got too many cars out parked in the street. We've got a, two or three complaints about the noise from the neighbors. Uh, can I see who's in charge here? I'm in charge here. Uh, what's your name, pal? Perry. Perry what? Perry Farrell. P-E-R-R-Y-F-A-R-R-E-L-L. Perry Farrell. Wait Perry a minute. Farrell. That's even better than I thought because Perry. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> the right record's <laughs> over and it's better than the others. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations from Warner Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Paramedics. Okay. I'll be right with you. Hang on. Uh. 
We got a, uh, a female, early 20s, deceased. Looks like um, maybe a drug overdose. Yeah. About how long have you been dead? I'd say uh, about eight to ten hours. All right. What room is she in? She's in the bedroom. Hey, and you got to see this, guys. It's pretty weird in there. Seen anything like this before? No, it's definitely not natural. Looks like she was very pretty, too. What's the camera? Look at the camera behind you. It's focused straight down on her. A little kinky to me. You have to sit right on her, too. Looks like there's even some footprints on the wall. Kinky, kinky. Think that, is there any film in the camera? I don't know. I've never seen anything like this. It's a little wild. At least this flower smell good. You know, you should get an outfit like that. I got one, but you'll <laughs> never see it. <laughs> no. Someone's got some explaining to do. We gotta go talk to the husband. See uh, his thoughts on this. How long ago did you discover your wife dead? A couple of hours ago, about two, two or three hours ago. Where have you been all day? I was recording a record. When was the last time you spoke to her? Over the phone. How long just ago? Just before I left. I just told you about two or three hours ago. Two or three hours ago. What time do you think it is now? I don't even know what time. I really don't. I don't know what well, time. Then what is. time did you call your wife? How do you know it was two or three hours ago? You must have seen a clock. You must know either what time you called or what time it is now. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just really confused right now. I gotta tell you the truth. Where did you find her originally? I found her in the living room. And I just didn't want her to be seen like that. She just, I just wanted to clean her up and I just wanted to remember her. Can you understand? It's hard to explain this to you. No, we can't understand. All we know, you could have murdered her. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Right now, you are a prime suspect. Right. Do you have any idea how she died? Uh... I have a clue. I came home, I saw her like that, and you I... You saw her like what? What was she like? She was dead. Dead? What position was she in? Was she sitting there watching she TV? There. What was she doing? No, she was laying there. Were you shooting up with her? No, I wasn't. When was the last time that you partied? When was the last time? I don't remember. Where are the drugs now in the house? There's no drugs. I don't think there's any drugs. Where do you keep your stash? I don't have one. No, not in the bathroom? It's 
So if I go in the bathroom, I'm not going to find a spoon or anything, right? I don't think so. What have you ever been arrested for before? Nothing. You've never been arrested in your entire life? No, I never have. Can I ask you something? Why are you... I mean, I understand all these questions and everything, but I called you. You know, I called you because of my, my okay. wife is here. Okay, let me explain one thing to you, okay? We have a crime scene. Right. We have a possible homicide. Right. You know, okay. when this I play in Los Angeles, I play for about 200,000 kids at a time. And you you are a I want to run for mayor in about five years when all those kids have grown up and are voters. Just answer. I just you might be mayor of Los good. Angeles one day, and these two assholes questions. will be working for me. With that legal attorney, am I right or am I wrong? I'll tell you right, let's just hook them up. Let's just take them down to the station. For what? Stand the station. up for me. Wait a minute. Either I'm going to help you up, or you're going to stand up on your own. Well, can you just wait a minute? No. Stand up, now. For what? Because Listen. I want to talk to you. Stand up. Okay, I'll stand up. But for what? Turn around. Come on. Why? Just get away for from what? The chair. For what? For get away what? From the chair. Wait a minute. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Bob, wait a minute. Hey, hey. Fuckers. Wait a minute. You fuckers. Just relax. Ah, fuckers. Very good, officer. Fuckhead. Ah! Oh, fuck! Uh, you have the right to remain silent. Don't call me nigga. 